This is the story of the feeding of the 5,000. It comes from John chapter 6. Y esta es la historia de la, cómo se alimentaron 5,000 personas y viene del de Evangelio de Juan. Sometime after this, Jesus crossed to the far shore of the Sea of Galilee, that is, the Sea of Tiberias, and a great crowd of people followed him because they saw the signs he had performed by healing the sick. Y un tiempo después de esto, um, Jesús fue al otro lado del mar de Galilea, el, uh, de Tiberias, y le seguía una gran multitud porque veían las señales que hacían los enfermos. Then Jesus went up on a mountainside and sat down with his disciples. The Jewish Passover festival was near. Entonces subió Jesús a un monte y se sentó ahí con sus discípulos y estaba cerca la Pascua, la fiesta de los judíos. When Jesus looked up and saw a great crowd coming toward him, he said to Philip, where should we buy bread for these people to eat? He asked this only to test him, for he already had in mind what he was going to do. Cuando alzó Jesús los ojos y vio que había venido a él gran multitud, dijo a Felipe, ¿de dónde compraremos pan para que coman estos? Pero esto decía para probarle, porque él sabía lo que había de hacer. Philip answered him, It would take more than half a year's wages to buy enough bread for each one to have a bite. Felipe le respondió, 200 denarios de pan no bastarían para que cada uno de ellos tomase un poco. Another of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. Here is a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish, but how far will they go among so many? Uno de sus discípulos, Andrés, hermano de Simón Pedro, le dijo, Aquí está un muchacho que tiene cinco panes de cebada y dos pececillos, mas ¿qué es esto para tantos? Jesus said, have the people sit down. There was plenty of grass in that place and they sat down. About 5,000 men were there. Jesus then took the loaves, gave thanks and distributed to those who were seated as much as they wanted. He did the same with the fish. Entonces Jesús dijo, haced recostar a la gente, y había mucha hierba en aquel lugar, y se recostaron como en número de cinco mil varones, y tomó Jesús aquellos panes, y habiendo dado gracias, los repartió entre los discípulos, y los discípulos entre los que estaban recostados, asimismo de los peces, cuanto querían. When they had all had enough to eat, he said to his disciples, Gather the pieces that are left over. Let nothing be wasted. So they gathered them and filled 12 baskets with the pieces of the five barley loaves left over by those who had eaten. Y cuando se hubieron saciado, dijo a sus discípulos, Recoged los pedazos que sobraron para que no se pierda nada. Recogieron pues y llenaron 12 cestas de pedazos que de los cinco panes de cebada sobraron a los que habían comido. After the people saw the sign Jesus performed, they began to say, Surely this is the prophet who has come into the world. Jesus, knowing that they intended to come and make him king by force, withdrew again to a mountain by himself. Aquellos hombres entonces, viendo la señal que Jesús había hecho, dijeron, Este verdaderamente es el profeta que había de venir al mundo. Pero entendiendo Jesús que iban a venir a, a apoderarse de él y hacerle rey, volvió a retirarse al monte solo. All right, so we're going to do a little skit for you all. Um, All right, so I need my disciples. I need Andrew or um, Alex. Uh, who's Philip? Let's see. Oh, Jonathan. Jonathan. So you guys are going to get in the boat. Remember? Where's Dawn? Oh, is he still? Is he here? Dawn? 
Jesus? Oh, oh, Jesus. Okay, I was like, Jesus? We can't do this without you. Okay, Kiara, you're a disciple. Where's Elizabeth? Elizabeth. All right, I need my waves up here. Come on, if you have waves, if you have water in your hand, or you're a wave person, come sit up here. Sit right here, next to each other. If anybody else is a little kid that wants to be a wave, I have extra waves. Or child at heart, hey. So Mia, if you want to come up here, you can. Eva, right? Okay. All right. So, okay. Ready. All right. So Jesus crossed to the shore of Galilee. Go ahead, waves. Waves. And then Jesus, they stopped the boat and everybody got out. You can just put the oars on the ground. <laughs> Where? All right, waves, you guys can go back to your seat for a second. Thank you. Good job. Jesus came and they went on the mountainside. Disciples, you guys can come sit up here. And Jesus started to teach, but he taught, oh, hold on. He was starting to teach, and a huge crowd gathered. So, oh, yeah, so you can pretend like you're teaching, you know, you know, yeah. Awesome. Um, so then, who wants to be a part of the crowd? Because this, you can come sit up here. Um, adults, if you guys want to be up here, kids. We need a crowd together. We need a crowd. So, yeah, so if you're, if you're a kid that doesn't have a part right now, or adult. Yeah, there's chairs, too. Yeah, Mia. There would be little Mias up there. There we go. Because Jesus, there's a large... Oh, and look at a little Matthew. <laughs> nice. Huge crowd is gathering. Look, see? Because of all the miracles and his teaching. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> oh, here comes Shirley. It's okay. God, God still is waiting for you, just for you, for that seat. <laughs> All right. So Jesus. Oh, last call. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Um. Yep. Whoever has sons, I need you to come up, please. Who's a son? Grab your son. Please. Oh yeah, Kalina. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So. G so I'm going to need you guys to act a little bit that you're up there. I didn't tell you that. I'm sorry, but uh, you'll be okay. It's really easy. All right. So, um, so Jesus is teaching. He's been teaching all day. It started at 10 a.m. Here we go. It's 10 a.m. So you guys, you might be getting a little bit hungry, but you're still good. All right. And now it's 1 p.m. And you're starting to get a little hungry. So can I see a little hunger pain here? Like we need a little hunger pain. There we go. There we go. And then we have, then we have 5 p.m. Still no food. Oh man, now you're really hungry. Yep, yep. You look, you look like you're in pain, Elizabeth. Good job. Way to go. Tired. You might be tired. Yeah. You guys are doing great. Wow, you're hired. Um, okay. Um, good job, sons. All right. So Jesus notices it's getting late. Obviously, he sees people in pain. Um, and Jesus, oh, where's Philip? Come here, Philip. Okay. So Jesus says, where shall we buy bread for all these to eat? Where shall we buy bread for all of these people to eat? I don't know, Jesus. I don't know, Jesus. We don't have enough money to buy bread for everybody. We don't have enough money, enough money to, buy bread to buy bread for everybody. For everybody. Have you seen how many people there are? Have you seen how many people they are? All right, then Andrew, where's Andrew? Andrew, hmm. Hmm. I need to find somebody. I need to find somebody with food. So he's going to go look for somebody that has food. Do you remember who's supposed to have it? You Don't go right to her. Look around a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to pretend to, like, not know where the food is yet. 
good job. Yep, you're looking. Wow, yep, nope, nothing in there. Awesome, awesome. All right. All right, now you can go find her. So it's going to be a little girl, not a little boy, because we're modifying a little bit. That's okay. Oh, go sit down. Yep, you found her. Can you bring her back? Bring her here. Jesus. Yep, bring her up. Andrew found somebody with food. And a little lunch box. Okay. All right. Ready? And oh, wait, hold on. Alex, here's, I found someone with food. I found someone with food. Let's see how much food she has. Let's see how much food she has. So Jesus is looking how many, how many loaves and how many fish. We have five loaves, five barley loaves, right? And how many fish, Jesus? How many fish, how many fish do we have here? Dose. Two fish. <laughs> but Ale or Andrew says, what can we do with just that? What can we do just, just that? All right. So, um, Jesus, you say, can you tell everybody to sit down? Everyone sit down, please. <laughs> can you tell to? Sit down. Sit down, please, everybody. Okay, it looks like they're already seated. All right, and then Jesus prays over the food and thanks the Father for it. <laughs> he prayed in his mind. <laughs> um, there you go. Yeah, he's tight like that, okay? Um, then he gave, okay, so then we need my disciples. Come on up. So, okay, so one, two, three, four. Yep, and you can go sit back down on all right, so you guys are going to get um, hand out food. Here, Alex and Jonathan, you have your little baskets. Yes, yes, yes. Remember, keep it covered like that. Keep it covered. What am I supposed to do with it? Okay, he's going to give it to you. He's going to give it to you. And then you guys are going to do two of them. All right, so then the disciples passed out food to everybody, and it never ran run out. It never ran out. And some and everybody, you guys can ask for uh, seconds and thirds because it, food never ran out. So like you know, for Daniel who likes to eat a lot, um, he had maybe fourths, and he was it's totally fine because you know there was enough. He gave him a whole packet full. I saw that, Jonathan. Good job. Yeah, you guys can give him up here too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We have to, you know, get the crowd up here, too, with food. So they're going to, if you want more, you raise your hand, because there's, you know, enough for everybody to get multiple, multiple servings. It's never going to run out. It's amazing. Oh, look at Matthew's even having some bread. Good job, Matthew. Oh, raise your hand if you want seconds. They'll come around and get you. Oh, we got more people. They need more food. And you guys can pretend like you're eating it, you know, sharing it, laughing. You're so happy now, right? Yay! All right. Does anybody, does anybody else need food? Anybody else? Make, oh, now you guys can be, pretend if you're full. You can be like, oh, yay. Mm, so good. So good. All right. Last call for food. Last call. Last call. Oh, Jaina, oh, oh, okay. Oh, Solara, oh. Make sure you say thank you, that's important. We gotta be polite. All right, I think that was it, guys. Anybody else? Jo uh, Julian, did you get food? <gasps> Do you want, give him some food back there. We can, no person left behind. Okay, and then once you get him food, come back up here. All right. All right. Come back up here, disciples. Come here. Come here. Yep. Good job. Because we have one more task for you. Yay! Wow. Wow. Julian really got a lot of food. Okay. Come on, Alex. Over here. So everybody ate until they were full. So can we be like, oh, yay. Mm. So full. I'm so full. It feels good. 
right? You're smiling now. You're not mad, at, you know, because you're full. Okay, so then, then you guys are going to go out again. I need my disciples. So they're going to pretend. You don't take anything off people's plates, but you're going to go find 12 baskets and try to pretend to get leftovers. So find 12 baskets, and you're going to bring them up here in front, right here. Right here, light them up. Find the baskets. Find the baskets. You can do it. Oh, my goodness, Jonathan, someone help him. There's so much leftovers. I need help. He says, help me. Wow, so much abundance, we can't even handle it. Jan- Jonathan's getting crushed by the abundance of God. Oh, no. That's a good problem to have, jo- Jonathan. That's a good problem to have. All right, bring them up, bring them up. 12 baskets, we need 12. There should be 12. Find them. There's one over there by, over here. <coughs> over there, over there. There's a big one, big one. And there's one under a table. Oh, no, not this one, not that one. That one's for a different activity. That was for Kathy. Okay, um, yep, yep. Okay, line them up one, one next to the other so we can count them all. All right, let's count them. I think we got them all. I think so. We have to count them. I know. Wow. Wait, let's count them. Oh, there's, there's one more? Oh, oh. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. We're going to start. We're going to count them together. Ready? One. Everybody with me now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yay. All right. You guys, from those little, well, I don't have one in my hand, but from those five little loaves and two fish, there was 12 full baskets of leftover food. That is amazing, right? And everybody ate. Even Daniel had like eighths and ninth servings. Like that's a, that's crazy. Um, so, um, so isn't that amazing? God did a miracle, right? So let's give Jesus a hand. Yay! All right. Thank you guys for participating. Even those that came up for us, you guys did awesome. All you kids did great. Good job. Good job. You guys can take your stuff off and put it over there if you want. Now we're going to talk about what this all means. Todos tuvieron buen, uh, buena comida. All right, good. I appreciate everybody entering in. Y gracias por todos los que ayudaron. We have a couple extra seats at some tables here and a couple here. This table in the middle over here is almost entirely empty. Y tenemos so, um, for anybody sitting in the back that wants to have a seat. Asientos extra todo alrededor. Aquí hay una mesa completamente vacía y hay más uh, asientos todo alrededor para que no estar um, solamente atrás. All right, so we want to see if we can talk together about the story and draw some of the lessons that Jesus might have had for us. Y queremos uh, hablar más sobre la historia y a ver um, algunas de las lecciones que Jesucristo tenía para nosotros. So, anybody want to share anything that popped out uh, to them about the story? Just what, what hit you maybe the most or for the first time in hearing the story or seeing it acted out? Y alguien quiere compartir algo que les haya impactado sobre la historia, algo que siempre han pensado o al verla actuada que les impacte. The kids did a wonderful job. Los niños hicieron un muy buen trabajo. Surely. Right. So a visual actually seeing how how much 12 baskets would have been impacts. Yes. Y es bueno ver el visualizado, el impacto de 12 canastas llenas. Somebody over here. 
Stacy. Right. Great. Okay. Everybody had all they wanted, whether it was one serving or seven. Y el hecho de que todos uh, comieron hasta que estaban satisfechos pudo haber sido un pedazo, varios pedazos. El señor prove, uh, hizo esta provisión para que todos quedaran satisfechos. Okay, let's walk through the story a little bit. Y hay que resumir un poquito la historia. What is the context? ¿Cuál es el contexto? Jesus is going somewhere. Jesucristo va rumbo a algún lado. With his disciples. Con sus discípulos. And he stops to teach his disciples. Y él se paró para enseñarle a sus discípulos. And all of a sudden, a huge crowd. Y gathers. de repente lo siguió una gran multitud. So, this is not, you know, down at the uh, center of town. Así es de que esto no es de que fue uh, en medio del pueblo. Right, this is out somewhere more in, in the country. Esto parti uh, ocurrió en las afueras de un lugar. And why, do you, why were the people following Jesus? ¿Y por qué estaba el, el pueblo siguiendo a Jesucristo? Anybody? He was doing miracles. Porque él, él estaba haciendo milagros. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So John the Baptist had come before him, had been preaching. People had been following him. Y antes de él también había estado uh, pasado por ahí Juan el Bautista. Él había estado predicando sobre su venida. But John had been killed, and so many of his followers were now following Jesus. Pero uh, en este punto, Juan el Bautista había sido asesinado, así es de que muchos de sus seguidores uh, seguían a Jesucristo. And so thousands of people gather to follow Jesus because of his healing, miracles, and his teachings also. Así es de que miles de personas seguían a Jesucristo por los milagros, por uh, la sanación, por uh, sus enseñanzas. How many think that, or do you think anybody planned to be there all day? ¿Ustedes creen que muchos de ellos planearon estar ahí todo el día? Yeah, probably not. Probablemente no. But what does that say to us? Entonces, ¿qué nos dice esta, este hecho? Always bring your lunch to church. Good idea. <laughs> Siempre trae tu almuerzo a la iglesia. Because you never know how long the pastor is going to preach. <laughs> Porque nunca sabes cuánto va a predicar el pastor. <laughs> They people found Jesus preaching so inspiring that they wanted to stay. Y también el hecho de que el pueblo uh, encontraba las enseñanzas de Jesucristo inspiradoras que no podían alejarse. Certainly they were captivated by him, by his teachings, by the miracles, by his charisma and the power of who he was. Ciertamente ellos estaban capturados por quién era, por sus enseñanzas, por su carisma. But one of the questions that I have that that brings to my mind is how many times or how prepared are we to have our schedule totally interrupted because God wants to do something in our lives? Es cuántas veces nosotros estamos dispuesto a que se deshagan nuestros planes por el hecho de que Dios quiere hacer algo. Have you ever thought about like just going and doing something for God like that might take a whole day or something? ¿Alguna vez has pensado en ir a hacer algo por Dios que es, tome todo tu día? How many of us have our time so scheduled and planned out ahead of time that we don't leave any room for God? ¿Cuántos de nosotros tenemos nuestro horario tan planeado y tan asegurado que ni siquiera damos oportunidad para que Dios sobre? And so the question might be, like, what blessings are we missing out on because we aren't making ourselves available for God to do whatever He wants to do? Así es de que la segunda pregunta es, ¿qué, ¿de qué bendiciones nos estamos perdiendo al no darle tiempo o el espacio para que Dios obre? Okay, so who are the main characters in the story? Así es de que aquí, ¿quiénes son los uh, uh, personajes principales? Jesus. Mm -hmm. Andrew, one of the disciples. Who is the other disciple? Uh, Philip. Philip. 
Okay. And then the crowd. Y la multitud. So those are our main characters. Así es de que esos son nuestros personajes principales. And the teaching is going on and on and on. Y ellos están escuchando de la enseñanza a uh, una tras otra tras otra. And most people are not leaving. Y la mayoría de la gente no se está yendo. In fact, the crowd may have built up during the day. We don't Incluso, know. Incluso a uh, a lo mejor empezó la uh, multitud y nomás seguía creciendo durante el día. And all of a sudden, it's getting to be sundown. Y de repente ya se viene el atardecer. And Jesus doesn't want to send the people home without food. Y Jesucristo no quiere a uh, mandar a la gente a su casa sin comer. And so there's a dilemma. Así es de que aquí tenemos este dilema. A problem. Un problema. What are we going to do? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Right. I'm going to I'm going to skip this part with the disciples here for a minute. Y voy a brincarme esta parte de los discípulos aquí un momento. Come back to it. Ahorita la repasamos. And jump to the fact that we find a little boy with his lunch. Y vamos al hecho de que encontramos a un niñito con su almuerzo. Okay, so kids. Así little, es de que niños. Little and small. I mean, little and big. A los niñitos y a los niñotes. So you're hanging out all day. Estás ahí todo el día. There are 5,000 people around you. Hay 5,000 personas a tu alrededor. You may have not eaten. Quizá no has comido. You've been holding on to your lunch all day. Tú has estado guardando tu almuerzo todo el día. Looking forward to it. Es, a, ansiando comértelo. Maybe realizing I'm probably going to want to eat this on my way home. Quizá dándote cuenta de, ah, me lo tendré que comer en, rumbo a casa. And then all of a sudden, Jesus, this person you came to see. Y de repente, Jesucristo, esta persona a quien veniste a ver. You know, is saying, well, we need to, we need to feed everybody. Está diciendo, tenemos que alimentar a todos. And then here comes Andrew, one of the disciples of Jesus. Y aquí viene Andrés, uno de los discípulos de Jesucristo. And he spots the fact that you have a lunch. Y se da cuenta que tú tienes un almuerzo. The only food in a crowd of 5,000 people. La única comida en una multitud de 5,000 personas. And we don't know whether Andrew asked him if he wanted to share. Y no sabemos si Andrés le preguntó si quería compartir. Or whether he, you know, volunteered, or what his disposition was. O si el niño uh, lo dio voluntariamente, o cómo ocurrió esto. But what would it have felt like to be that boy who had his lunch? Pero cómo se hubiera sentido ser ese niño que tenía su almuerzo. Any ideas? Alguna idea? Hmm? He may not have wanted to share. Quizá él no quiso compartir. Anybody else? Alguien más? Why wouldn't he have wanted to share? ¿Por qué no hubiera querido compartir? He was hungry. Not enough. Uh, um, tenía hambre, no habría ya suficiente. So, if I share, Así es de que si yo comparto, will there be enough for me? ¿Habrá suficiente para mí? Right. Isn't that always the question that we have when it comes to whether or not we're going to share? ¿Acaso no es esa la pregunta que siempre nos hacemos cuando se to es, uh, es tiempo de compartir? Now, most of us don't have a problem when we feel like we have a lot. Y la mayoría de nosotros no sentimos un problema cuando sentimos que tenemos suficiente. Or there's only one person or so to share with. O solo tenemos que compartir con una o dos personas. And we can be confident that we're going to be okay and taken care of. Y estamos seguros de que vamos a estar bien, uh, vamos a alcanzar. But holding a small box lunch in the midst of 5,000 people who are hungry. Pero teniendo ese pequeño almuerzo entre 5,000 personas que están hambrientas. You think it might have been a little bit scary? Quizá uh, él estaba asustado. We don't know. No sabemos. But without this little boy. Pero si no hubiera estado este niño. We may not have had a miracle. Quizá no hubiéramos tenido un milagro. Now, Jesus already knew what he was going to do, the Bible says. Y nos dice la Biblia que Jesucristo ya sabía lo que iba a hacer. So we don't know what else he would have done if the boy hadn't shared. Así es de que no sabemos qué más hubiera hecho si el niño no hubiera compartido. But what does the boy get to do because he shared? Pero qué le toca hacer al niño porque él tuvo la oportunidad de compartir. Anita. Anita. Oh. <laughs> now you get to answer. <laughs> <laughs> what does the boy get to do now that he shared? He gets to help feed many. Le toca poder alimentar a muchos. Bragging rights. Ah, le toca presumir. Got to see Jesus up close and personal. Le tocó conocer a Jesucristo cercanamente. Stacy. 
be a part of a miracle. Ser parte de ese milagro. Right? What, who knows who this boy grew up to be? ¿Quién sabe uh, qué hizo el resto de su vida este niño? Who knows how this impacted him for the rest of his life? No sabemos cómo esto lo impactó el resto de su vida. Can you imagine what he felt and experienced that day? ¿Pueden imaginarse lo que él sintió y experimentó ese día? Yeah, we talked about how he might have been afraid going up to Jesus and surrendering that lunch. Y sí, hablamos como él quizá hubiera tenido temor al entregar ese almuerzo. But what do you think he felt when he saw Jesus multiplying and the food just kept coming and coming and coming? Pero ¿cómo creen que se sintió cuando vio que Jesucristo seguía multiplicándolo una y otra vez? Do you think there was extra ownership of what was going on because it was his lunch? ¿Creen que él se sintió orgulloso uh, en una manera más extra porque era parte de su almuerzo? Right, do you? You think that he had some extra excitement? Quizá él estaba mucho más emocionado por eso. Like, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's my lunch. There were only five loaves and two fishes in my lunch. Ese era mi almuerzo. Solo había dos pececitos y cinco panecitos. How can there possibly be all this food coming out of my lunch? ¿Cómo es que sigue saliendo de mi almuerzo más y más comida? And even though it was obviously Jesus doing the miracle, e incluso, aunque era Jesucristo, obviamente, el que hacía el milagro, this boy gets to experience being a part of what God is doing in the moment. Este niño le tocó experimentar lo que Jesucristo estaba haciendo en ese momento. So whenever God asks us to do something, así es de que cada vez que, Jesu que Dios nos pregunta hacer algo, what's happening? ¿Qué está pasando? A miracle. Un milagro. What is he inviting us to do? ¿Y qué nos está invitando a hacer? To be his partner. Ser su compañero en eso. Right? Jesus always, and I believe only, asks us to join with him to be in partnership so we can see him at work. Y Jesucristo solamente, y lo creo que uh, solamente nos, has, uh, nos pide ayudarlo para que nosotros podamos verlo en acción. And so, if we jump in with him, Así es de que si nosotros nos unimos a Él are, y compartimos quiénes somos have, y lo que tenemos it, it, y después Jesucristo lo bendice y hace algo con eso ¿Cómo nos va a impactar a nosotros? ¿Alguien ha tenido la oportunidad de que les pase? Right, it would be a strengthening of your faith, absolutely. Sería un, una fortaleza tu fe, sí. I know that many of you have had experiences like that. Yo sé que muchos de ustedes han tenido experiencias como esta. And I know you're all being very bashful right now. Y yo sé que ahorita están muy tímidos. But I want you to think about the times that you have had something that you knew Jesus was asking you to share with somebody. Pero quiero que piensen en esas oportunidades cuando ustedes tenían algo y que Jesucristo les pidió que lo compartieran con alguien. It could have been, you know, helping somebody out with some, buying some groceries at, at a store where they didn't have enough money. Pudo haber sido ayudarle a alguien a comprar su uh, despensa cuando no, no tenían suficiente para pagar. It would be knowing you don't have enough time, but having the impression that God wants you to call a friend of yours. O sabiendo que no tienes suficiente tiempo, pero sientes en el corazón que Dios quiere que le hables a alguno de tus amigos. And you don't know why. Y no sabes por qué. But you do it anyway. Pero aún lo haces. And you discover that that friend was really needing something right then. Y te das cuenta de que ese amigo necesitaba algo en ese momento. And you were a part of blessing them at that moment for y, Jesus. Y tú fuiste parte de esa bendición que Jesucristo tenía para ellos. Anybody had an experience like that? Alguien ha tenido una experiencia así. Okay. How many of you have maybe gotten some extra money or maybe just even had some extra money in your pocket one day? ¿Cuántos de ustedes han tenido uh, dinero extra o recibido uh, dinero extra en alguna ocasión? And whether you're going to church or at, like you say, the grocery store, y ya sea que vayan a la iglesia o al supermercado. You feel impressed to give that extra money to somebody. Sientes ese impulso de dar ese dinero extra a alguien. And you do so. Y lo haces. Discovering that that person really needed that money at just that time. Descubriendo que esa persona verdaderamente necesitaba ese dinero en ese minuto exacto. How many of you had experience like that? Okay. ¿Cuántos han tenido esa experiencia? 
I would greatly encourage everybody to try it sometime. Y me gustaría animar a todos a experimentar con eso. Go out with the intention of giving something away. Sal con la intención de dar algo a alguien más. I've done that. Yo he hecho eso. Based on a challenge, just like I'm giving you. Basado en un reto, al igual que estoy haciendo con ustedes. Where I took $100, broken into five twenties. Donde tomé 100 dólares uh, de uh, con billetes de 20 dólares. And I just went out with the intention of blessing somebody. Y salí con ese propósito de bendecir a alguien. And Three out of the five were overwhelming blessings to me. Y tres de los cinco ocasiones fueron uh, de una gran bendición para mí. I went to the McDonald's right over here on Lincoln. Fui al McDonald's aquí por uh, la calle Lincoln. And I was just waiting in the lobby. Y estaba esperando ahí. And this young man and a little boy came in. Y este joven y un niño entraron. And the Lord said, that's the one. Y el Señor me dijo, ahí está. And so I went up to the young man as he was ordering. Así es de que me acerqué al joven mientras ordenaba. And I said, you know, I'd like to buy your lunch today if I could. Y le dije, ah, quisiera comprar tu almuerzo hoy si puedo. And he looked at me with really strange look. Y él me dio esta mirada extraña. And he said, are you serious? Y me dijo, ¿en serio? And I said, yeah, absolutely. Y le dije, sí, absolutamente. And he started crying. Y comenzó a llorar. Because he was taking his son out, who he had, he was fighting for custody, even the rights to see him. Porque él estaba pasando el día con su hijo, por quien estaba peleando por tener el derecho a tener su custodia. He had been in jail. Había estado encarcelado. Recently out. Recientemente había salido. Hadn't got a job yet. No había adquirido un empleo. But he really wanted to spend time with his boy. Pero él quería pasar tiempo con su hijo. Y necesitaba hacerlo para tener, establecer una relación o tener ese récord de eso. Said, y dijo, tengo mis últimos 10 dólares en mi bolsillo. Y yo no supe cómo lo iba a hacer. Pero yo quería a mi hijo y a mí ir a for a meal at McDonald's today. Pero yo quería ir a comer con mi hijo hoy. I felt so blessed. Y yo me sentí tan bendecido. It was worth way more than that $20. Valió mucho más que esos $20. Right? And there are many, many blessings out there for us if we will park, if we will go out there and be willing to embrace what God is wanting to do through us. Y hay muchas bendiciones allá afuera para nosotros si estamos dispuestos a participar en lo que Dios tiene para nosotros. So, the little boy teaches us a lesson. Así es de que este niño nos enseña una lección. All right. I don't my time. All right, let's go back to the disciples real quick. Y ahora regresemos con los discípulos. All right, so Jesus sees the crowd hungry and it's late in the day. Jesucristo ve a la multitud que tienen hambre y es tarde. And he turns to Philip and he says, Philip, let's feed them. Y él se acerca a Felipe y le dice, alimentémoslos. And Philip, being smart as he is, y Felipe, siendo listo como es, does the calculations. Hace las, los cálculos. Lord, it would take a whole year's worth of wages to feed all these people. Señor, tomaría más uh, ingresos que un año para alimentar a toda esta gente. And there are no Safeway nearby. Y no tenemos una Safeway aquí para ir a comprar pollo. Right. So Jesus, I think, intentionally presents Philip with an impossible situation. Así es de que yo creo que Felipe, uh, que Dios, Jesucristo le presenta esta situación a Felipe uh, a propósito. Do you think Jesus would do that? ¿Ustedes creen que Jesucristo haría esto? What was Jesus up to here? ¿Qué es lo que se tramaba Jesucristo en esto? Who, who are the disciples? ¿Quiénes son los discípulos? Followers of Jesus. Son los seguidores de Jesucristo. Who are they going to be? ¿Quiénes van a ser? The leaders of the church. Los líderes de la iglesia. The ones that are going to carry on what Jesus is starting. Los que van a seguir con lo que está empezando Jesucristo. And so he's training them. Así es de que los está entrenando. What do you think he's trying to teach them at this moment? ¿Qué creen que les está tratando de enseñar en este momento? To trust. Confianza. All things are possible. Todas cosas son posibles. Right. One of the things that Jesus said very often in different ways was nothing's impossible with God. Una de las cosas que Jesucristo dijo muchas veces es que nada es imposible con Dios. So what is the lesson here? Así es de que cuál es la lección aquí. 
Bring it to God. Tráelo so, a la atención de Dios. So the question for us is, Así es de que la pregunta para nosotros es that we can learn from this encounter, lo que podemos aprender de esta historia is where do we go in our heads when we're presented with difficult or impossible situations? Es a quién nos acercamos en nuestra mente cuando se nos presentan estas situaciones difíciles o imposibles. Where do you go when you don't have enough money? ¿A dónde vas donde no tienes suficiente dinero? Go online, check your bank statement. Vas en línea a checar tu estado de cuenta. Check your wallet. Checas tu uh, cartera. Ask your wife how much money we have. Le preguntas a tu esposa cuánto dinero tenemos. Or the other way, get permission from your wife. O le pides permiso a tu esposa. Right? Where do we turn when we are faced with an impossible situation? ¿A dónde volteamos cuando se nos presenta esta situación imposible? Yeah, we try to figure out and make it happen ourselves. Nosotros uh, tratamos de resolverlo nosotros mismos. And we naturally turn to ourselves. Y naturalmente volteamos a nosotros mismos. Don't we? No lo hacemos así. How many of us stop and actually think, am I going to the right source? ¿Cuántos de nosotros uh, paramos y pensamos si estamos acudiendo a la fuente apropiada o no? And what do we do when we realize that we don't have enough or what it takes to do what we want to do or what we feel God asking us to do? ¿Y cuántos, uh, qué hacemos cuando nos damos cuenta que no uh, tenemos suficiente para lo que Dios nos llama a hacer? ¿Qué haces cuando te das cuenta que no tienes lo suficiente para hacer lo que necesitas hacer? Thank you, Laura. She said, Worry. Y gracias, Laura, ella compartió que se preocupa. ¿Cuántos hacen eso? Yo estaba haciendo eso esta semana. Yeah, confronted with a situation that was way bigger than than me and my resources. Confrontado con una situación que era mucho más grande que yo y que mis circunstancias. And I spent all night long worrying. Y me pasé toda la noche preocupado. Well, just a little tip for you. Y una uh, una pista para ustedes. It did no good. No no me ayudó preocuparme. I had a terrible night's sleep. <laughs> ah, no pude dormir. Cassandra. Um, so last night we had the um, the dinner, you know, Ah, uh, sí, y nos comparte Cassandra que ella estaba compartiendo esta historia anoche sobre cómo había uh, estado uh, buscando qué hacer porque tenía que hacer ciertos pagos y necesitaba dinero y um, de repente uh, ella fue contactada por uno de sus uh, jefes anteriores que le dijo que necesitaba una recepcionista para el hotel donde ella estaba trabajando. Entonces Cassandra recomendó a una muchacha que salió bien, uh, sí, estaba trabajando bien con ellos y después su jefe le dijo a Cassandra que pasara por ahí porque necesitaba entregarle algo y lo que le entregó fueron 300 dólares porque Dios lo había guiado, Dios um, lo ha vendido y él sintió que ese llamado a, a compartir ese milagro, compartir esa bendición y parte de esa bendición era para Cassandra que lo había ayudado. Thank you. All right. Yeah. So great story. Thank you for sharing, Cassandra. Y gracias por compartir, Cassandra. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. 
Yes, amen. Y me dijo, Kathy, tienes que compartir esto. Uh, so the whole concept of paying it forward is, is part of this lesson here. Así es de que el concepto este de compartirlo es parte de esta lección. We are, we are blessed to be a blessing. Es bendición para nosotros poder ser bendición para los demás. It's better to give than to receive. Es mejor uh, dar que recibir. And there's a whole other sermon here, but you know, we're, we're supposed to be a lake that flow, water flows through, not a dam that holds it back. Y hay aquí otra lección nueva, completa, pero debemos de ser un río que fluye en vez de una represa que almacena. But, so, just, I want us to stop and think for another couple of minutes. Así es de que quiero que pausemos y pensemos un poquito más. Where, it does, where do we go to automatically? ¿A dónde automáticamente vamos? Where, what is our default process? ¿Cuál es nuestro proceso automático? Ourselves, a typically. Nosotros. Mm -hmm. When we are confronted with a situation that is bigger than we are, where we don't see we have the resources for. Cuando nos enfrentamos a una situación que es mucho más grande que nosotros y no tenemos los recursos para li lidiar con eso. You know, then where do we turn? Entonces, ¿a dónde acudimos? And if we turn to ourselves, y si nosotros vamos a nosotros mismos, then what are we turning to? Entonces, ¿a qué acudimos? A, well, maybe failure. Quizá fallas. Definitely a limited thing. So we're a limited or finite resource. Dif definitivamente somos recurso a uh, finito. That is often um, insufficient to meet the need. Que muchas veces no es suficiente para uh, saciar esa necesidad. Right. So, a parallel question to that Así es de que una pregunta paralela a esto is, who is God to you in that moment? Es, ¿quién es Dios para ti en ese momento? Or, where is God for you in that moment? O, ¿en dónde se encuentra Dios para ti en ese momento? Because I would suggest to you that if God is not the person you are thinking of at that moment, porque quiero uh, sugerirles que si Dios no es en quien pensan inmediatamente en ese momento, then God is not your primary re reality. Entonces Dios no es tu uh, realidad principal. Right? Does that make sense? Y me explico con esto. So again, it's a reality check. Así es de que nuevamente es para checar esa realidad. This isn't meant to condemn anybody. Esto no lo hago para condenarnos a nosotros mismos. But to ask us all to kind of check where our hearts are and what actually happens in our living of life. Pero para preguntarnos a cada uno de nosotros a uh, cuál es nuestra condición de vida. There are hundreds of texts that tell us to look to God and to put our faith in God all the time, right? Hay muchos de textos que nos dicen que tenemos que acudir a Dios en esos tiempos, amén. And to seek first his kingdom and all these things will be added unto you. Y buscar primero su reino y lo demás será añadido. But do we do it? Pero lo hacemos en verdad. And it's those moments of crisis, no matter how big or small. Y en esos momentos de crisis, no importa qué pequeños o grandes. That reveal to us what, what, where we're really at with that que nos revelan verdaderamente en dónde estamos en nuestra caminata con Cristo. Is God really God to us? Verdaderamente te tenemos a Dios como Dios en nuestras vidas. And if he's not the first thing you think of or the first person you think of in those situations. Y si él no es la primera cosa, la primera persona en la que piensas en esas situaciones, then something is out of kilter. Entonces algo no está bien. You think Jesus was stressed out by the situation? ¿Acaso crees que Jesucristo estaba estresado en esta situación? Most of you shaking heads, no. La mayoría están diciendo no. What's that? He was, he was excited. He already knew what he was going to do. He was rubbing his hands. This is a great opportunity. Él probablemente estaba emocionado. Él estaba, espérense, espérense. Right. Nomás vean lo que voy a hacer. Why? ¿Por qué? Why was Jesus in such a different place than Philip? Porque es que Jesucristo estaba en un lugar completamente diferente que Felipe. Faith. Fe. Based on. Basado en qué? His relationship with his father. His relationship with his father. Su relación con su padre. Jesus knew the father was good for it. Jesucristo sabía que el padre iba a cumplir. He was not only good for it in terms of willing to honor. No solo iba a cumplir en estar dispuesto a honrar esta relación con Jesucristo. But he knew he had the power and the ability. Pero él sabía que Dios tiene el poder y la habilidad. Right? So he, his confidence in God was absolute. Así es de que su confianza en Dios era completa. And he had probably received some instruction from his father on what to do. Y él probablemente había recibido esa instrucción de su padre de qué hacer. 
And so this story helps us to see or examine our view of ourselves. Así es de que esta historia nos ayuda a examinar, a analizar nuestro punto de vista de, sobre nosotros mismos. What is our default mode? Uh, ¿Qué es nuestra reacción instantánea? Do we check our own resources and, and respond that way? ¿Checamos nuestros propios recursos y uh, reaccionamos de esa manera? Or do we go to God first? ¿O acudimos a Dios primero? And think of the situation as he would think of it. Y pensamos en la situación de la manera que él la vería. Like the text that Anne read earlier today. Como el texto que Anne leyó uh, previamente. Philippians 4.19 But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. Filipenses 4.19 Así es de que mi Dios proveerá de todo lo que necesiten conforme a sus gloriosas riquezas. Now, that's nice to say. Uh, y sí, esto es bonito decirlo. But putting into practice every day is a little more challenging, isn't it? Pero lo difícil es ponerlo en práctica uno y otro día. But if it's true, it's true. Pero si es verdad, es verdad. Right. So, what Jesus was trying to teach his disciples. Así es de que lo que Jesucristo estaba tratando de enseñarle a los discípulos. Is you're going to face many impossible situations in your life es que tú te vas a enfrentar a muchas situaciones difíciles en tu vida. I want you to learn how to turn to God. Yo quiero que aprendas cómo acudir a Dios. And gain from him what he has for you. Y para poder obtener lo que él tiene para ti. And that we then be can, can be begin to see ourselves Y entonces nosotros podemos a poder comenzar a vernos as partners with God. Como compañeros con Dios. Who get to join in with him quienes pueden acercarse a Él. To accomplish amazing things. Añadirse al trabajo de Él para lograr cosas maravillosas. That will transform not only our lives. Que no solamente van a transformar nuestras vidas. But the lives of those around us. Pero también las vidas de los que están a nuestro alrededor. Amen. Amen. All right. So, some really good points were made this morning. Y muchos uh, excelentes puntos fueron recalcados esta mañana. And that, um, I hope you have a lot of good things to think about this week. Y espero que tengan muchas cosas uh, buenas en las que pensar esta semana. And one of those um, things that we have been doing is the baby bottle drive. Y una de esas cosas que hemos estado haciendo fue esta recaudación de fondo con las botellas de bebé. And this is a way we've been giving and some of you may have been giving more than you thought you could handle or afford, right? Y una, esta es una de las maneras que hemos podido dar y quizá unos de ustedes han podido ma dar más de lo que creían poder haber dado. So we've been doing what we can or what we thought that um, we had enough to do. Así es de que hemos podido hacer lo que pudimos hacer o pensamos que podíamos hacer. So I just want to thank each of you who took a baby bottle and filled it. Y quiero agradecerles a cada uno de ustedes que se llevaron una botella de bebé para llenarla. And who has returned it even if it's not full. Y quienes la han regre regresado aunque no esté completamente llena. Because every cent matters in the kingdom. Porque cada centavo uh, tiene importancia en el reino. So if you brought um, back your bottle, which it looks like some of you did today. Así es de que si regresaron sus botellas, que parece que varios de ustedes lo hicieron. Then please give it to Shirley. Entonces, por favor, entreguensela a Shirley. And this week, um, if we have all of the bottles returned, I'll be taking um, the donations to Life Choices. Y esta semana, si tenemos las uh, botellas regresadas, regre entregaré las donaciones a Life Choices. And if uh, you forgot your bottle, y se, se les olvidó su botella, then um, please bring it during the week or please bring it by next Sunday because I... Um, promised them I would give the bottles back um, sometime at the end of March, beginning of April. Así es de que por favor traiganla esta semana a la, y, a la oficina de la iglesia o el próximo domingo porque prometí regresar las botellas a fines de marzo o principios de abril. So if you still would like to take advantage of that, there are some empty bottles in the back. I will give you one more week. 
Así es de que si aún quieren uh, tomar la oportunidad de poder bendecir a alguien de esta manera, aún tenemos botellas vacías aquí atrás. And thank you to each one of you who has given. Y gracias a cada uno de ustedes que han aportado. This is a very great and needed ministry in our valley. Este es un muy grande, importante uh, y necesario ministerio aquí en nuestro valle. So Jim has an announcement. Y Jim tiene un anuncio. And is Daniel here? Y está aquí Daniel. As a church, we are about to do something quite historic. Y como iglesia, estamos a punto de hacer algo histórico. And I want to make sure that you know about it and also that you help promote it. Pero quiero asegurarme de que ustedes sepan de esto y me ayuden a compartirlo. There is a handout on your table that looks like this. Les pasamos unas hojas en sus uh, and, mesas y se ve como así. And uh, that tells you all about it. Please take that with you. Y comparte todo sobre eso. Por favor, uh, llévenlo con ustedes. And if you know of people that would like to come y and be a part of this, in that box at the back that says cashews, there are extra copies of this. You can take as many as you want to pass out. Y si conocen de alguien que uh, que esté interesado de en esto o um, quizá ustedes creen que pueda ayudarles en esa caja de atrás hay copias extra de eso y pueden ustedes entregárselas. Let me tell you what it is. Y ahora déjenme les explico qué es. It's going to happen in four weeks on Sunday evening, April 24th. Va a pasar en cuatro semanas en uh, el 24 de abril en la tarde. And on that Sunday evening at 6 o'clock, we are sponsoring a community-wide hymn sing right here. Y en ese uh, domingo en la tarde, vamos a hacer anfitriones de una uh, oportunidad para cantar himnos uh, con la comunidad. We're going to have an hour of singing nothing but the old classic hymns some of which are mentioned on that handout. Y vamos a pasar una uh, um, noche, una hora cantando himnos antiguos y algunos de esos men son mencionados en ese pedazo de papel. And we're going to be using large print hymnals. Y vamos a hacer usar himnarios grandes. So the handout has a sample of what one of the hymns looks like, page 21. Perdón, vamos a usar himnarios con la letra grande. And the hymnals contain 200 very fine hymns. Y estos himnarios tienen 200 himnos muy bonitos. So, please help promote this. Así, Pass out the handouts. Así es de que por favor ayúdenos a... Um, eh, Compartir esto, compartan con los que estén interesados. And come yourselves. We'll have a great time that Sunday night. I'll be leading the singing. Kathy will be playing the, the piano. Y vengan, acompáñenos. Va a ser un excelente tiempo. Yo estaré dirigiendo los himnos y Kathy va a tocar. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Hello. After after church, or after we like, you know, visit and hang out and stuff, we're going to go around the church and sort of pray and uh, clean up the garbage. If you notice, there's like trash everywhere, and so it just it needs to be cleaned up. And so it'd be great if you guys could help after we just like visit and stuff like that and all that. So thank you. Y después de la iglesia, hoy tenemos una gran oportunidad de ser buenos administradores. Al, después del de, uh, servicio, después de que platiquen un ratito, vamos a caminar alrededor de nuestra iglesia, uh, orando y recogiendo basura. En esta manera, siendo buenos administradores de lo que Dios nos ha proveído. So, thank you to uh, the person or persons who donated new water and juice pitchers. Y gracias también a las personas o persona que donó las nuevas jarras de agua. That's so awesome because hopefully these will not leak. Y eso es excelente. Uh, esperemos que estas no tengan fugas. 
We really appreciate each of you and your generosity to help with the things that um, are an addition to being here this morning. Y los apreciamos inmensamente a cada uno de ustedes al ayudar con las cosas uh, más de simple con su presencia aquí esta mañana. Y Minette quiere agradecerle a las gente uh, que terminaron con los tratamientos de las ventanas aquí. Se ve mucho mejor. Thank you, Minette. So for those who didn't hear Minette, we are truly grateful for those that helped finish off our windows. Y sí, gracias, Minette. Y ya traducimos lo que ella agradeció. Um, next Sunday is our communion and potluck. You won't want to miss it. Y el próximo domingo es nuestro día de uh, Santa Cena y después la comida compartida. Please bring something to a dish to share and hang out and get to know each other better. Por favor, traigan algo para compartir y uh, pasen tiempo aquí para que nos podamos seguir conociendo el uno al otro. Um, It should be on, uh, if you miss anything, um, there'll be an email that comes out during the week. As most of you know, if you're not on the email list, Shirley sends out a hard copy. And there is a um, screen in the other room here that has all the announcements. So if you missed a detail, you can always check out there and also check with Shirley, uh, Kathy or I. Y si se les pasó algún anuncio o algo, recuerden que Shirley manda no solo un correo electrónico con todos los anuncios y las peticiones de oración, también hay una lista a la que se pueden agregar si necesitan una copia física y también hay afuera una pantalla que repite los anuncios y todas esas cosas. So, in light of the, um, we have so many things going on this morning, please check that out. Um, it will have details about Shirley starting a Bible study um, May 15th. Así es de que hay muchas cosas interesantes en esos anuncios, también como que Shirley va a comenzar un uh, estudio bíblico el 15 de mayo. So please sign up for that if you're interested so that we know how many to plan for. Así es de que si están interesados, por favor, inscríbanse para saber el interés que hay. That will be Sunday mornings at 9 o'clock. Eso sería los uh, domingos por la mañana a las 9 de la mañana. And then if you already pray for the church or would like that to become a habit in your life for the praying for the church and its ministries, please talk to me as I would like, would really, really love to talk to you about that. Y si ustedes ya oran por la iglesia y um, están en el hábito de orar por la iglesia, por favor háblenme conmigo, Tengo, uh, me gustaría compartir con ustedes. Um, moving to uh, prayer requests, we do have good news, um, which will all be in the email again. Um, so I don't want to go into a lot of detail right here, but... Um, Claudia's blood has been, uh, we believe, miraculously cured so that she's not having any more issues with her blood. Y uh, ahora moviéndonos hacia las peticiones de oración, tenemos una bendición que compartir sobre una previa petición de oración. Uh, nosotros creemos que los niveles de sangre de Claudia han sido arreglados milagrosamente porque como saben, ella previamente había estado teniendo dificultades con esto y ahora se encuentran en donde deberían de estar. So that's excellent good news. Y esas son excelentes noticias. And then um, Bonnie has let us know that Janine is home after her chemo treatments and she's recovering, so we want to continue to be praying for her full healing. Y Bonnie ha compartido que uh, Janine está de regreso a casa después de su primer tratamiento de quimioterapia y debemos de seguir orando por ella y su salud. She is home, but she is meeting at the cancer care center every other day for blood tests. She had a platelets yesterday and an, on a unit of blood. So keep her in your prayers, but she's doing well. 
y ella está en casa, está de regreso en casa, pero tiene que ir al centro de cáncer a cada segundo día para análisis y tratamientos. Ha recibido tratamiento de plasma y otro tratamiento, así es de que por favor uh, continúen manteniéndola en sus oraciones. And then we are sad to share that Marcela's mother-in-law who had a stroke passed away just recently. Y también estamos tristes al compartir que a uh, la suegra de Marcela, quien tuvo una embolia, falleció recientemente. So please keep um, her and the family in your prayers. Así es de que por favor manténgala a ella y a su familia en sus oraciones. Let's pray now. Y ahora oremos. Father, thank you that you are God that comes alongside of us. Padre, gracias por ser Dios y por acercarnos, acercarte a nosotros. Thank you that you bring comfort to us. Gracias que tú nos traes consuelo. Thank you that you bring healing. Gracias que tú nos traes salud. Thank you that no matter what our need is, you meet the need. Gracias que no importa cuál sea nuestra necesidad, tú provees. So we thank you for even those who have not shared what their deep heart's desires are. Así es de que te agradecemos incluso por aquellos que no han compartido esas grandes necesidades y deseos dentro de su corazón. That you know each person's heart. Ya que tú conoces el corazón de cada persona. You've heard their cry. Tú escuchas su clamor. And you are with them and for them and will answer them. Y tú estás ahí con ellos, por ellos, y tú les tienes una respuesta. Thank you that you are good, good father. Gracias por ser ese buen, buen padre. Even when things around us do not seem to be good. Incluso cuando las cosas a nuestro alrededor no parecen bien. Just as in our story today, we can always turn to you and you provide what we need. Al igual que en nuestra historia hoy, nosotros debemos acudir a ti y tú provees lo que necesitamos. And usually more than enough. Y usualmente provees en abundancia. And we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Y te agradecemos en el poderoso nombre de Cristo. Amen. So as you're able, please stand with us as we sing a few more songs. Y nuevamente, si pueden hacerlo, pongámonos de pie mientras cantamos una vez más.
podemos tomar asiento. All right. Just we're going to do a little activity here in a second. Y ahora tenemos una actividad. And uh, but before we do, I just want us to go back to a couple thoughts. Y antes de que lo hagamos, quiero regresar a ciertos puntos. What was the what was the key or the, the significant thing in this story? ¿Cuál fue la clave o el punto principal en esta historia? Anybody want to summarize or share? Turn me. Okay. If you ask God for something, he will do it. Que si le pides algo a Dios, él lo hace. Love. Amor. Have faith in Christ. Tener fe en Cristo. Being an example. Ser un ejemplo. What about when you don't have hope, Mo? With God, all things are possible. Por medio de Dios, todas las cosas son posibles. Really? It's, the, um, it's good to give. It's good to give. Es bueno dar. Right. And what happens when you don't have enough? ¿Y qué pasa cuando no tienes suficiente? We trust God and believe in Him, not us, right? Confiamos en Dios y creemos en Él, no en nosotros mismos. Amen. Okay, so we all have something. Así es de que todos tenemos algo. One of the lessons that we didn't expand on too much Una de las lecciones que no exploramos tanto is that, you know, the boy had his lunch. Fue de que el niño tenía su almuerzo. And it was what was needed in the moment. Y era lo que se necesitaba en ese tiempo. It didn't seem like it was nearly enough to accomplish the purpose. No parecía que fuera suficiente para lograr el propósito. Right, even Andrew said, what, what will this accomplish with this great need? Incluso Andrés dijo, ¿esto qué uh, va a ayudar en esta gran necesidad? So we all have something Así es de que todos tenemos algo that God has put in our hands que Dios ha puesto en nuestras manos that he wants to use to bless others with que él quiere usar para bendecir a los demás to use us to accomplish his purposes in this world para usarnos a nosotros a lograr sus propósitos en este mundo and we may not recognize what that is y quizá nosotros no reconozcamos lo que es eso we may think oh all I have is a little bit of money quizá pensamos simplemente tengo poquito dinero but what can God do with a little bit of something pero que puede hacer Dios con un poquito de algo right. you may think well your talents aren't that much quizá tú pienses tus talentos no son tantos you know what are my talents worth Ah, ¿qué valen mis talentos? But what if that talent was given to God? Pero qué tal si tú puedes entregarle ese talento a Dios? What if he could do something with that? ¿Qué tal si él puede hacer algo con eso? Right. So we're going to take, we're going to have an activity here in a minute. Así es de que aquí vamos a tener una actividad en un momento. Where you're going to be able to write down some things that you have that God can bless. Donde tú puedes a uh, la oportunidad de o oh, escribir cosas que Dios puede bendecir. And um, Kathy's going to lead that activity here in a minute. But before we do that, and while you're thinking about that. Y antes de que hagamos esto y mientras ustedes están pensando en esto. Stacy's going to come sing a song for us. Stacy va a compartir una canción con nosotros. Stacy, if you, as you, many of you know. Y como muchos de ustedes uh, saben, Stacy. Has a gift of being able to sing what the Lord gives her spontaneously to sing. Stacy tiene ese don de poder compartir con, uh, el, con nosotros lo que Dios le entrega en ese momento. So this isn't a rehearsed song. Así es de que esta no fue practicada. This is Stacy offering her lunch to us. Esta es Stacy ofreciendo su almuerzo para nosotros. Giving us what the Lord has given her. Dándonos lo que Dios le ha brindado a ella. And I believe that if we open up our hearts and spirits to her, to her and to the Lord. Y yo creo que si nosotros abrimos nuestros corazones y espíritus para ella y para el Señor. We'll receive a blessing. Vamos a recibir una bendición. And so, but be thinking, what has God given you that might seem little? Así es de que, por favor, uh, empecemos a pensar qué es lo que Dios te ha otorgado que quizás se ve pequeño. But with which he wants to do much. Pero con eso, Él quiere hacer mucho. balance after all these years.
maybe this will work. All right, so like when I was praying and um, about this, just different courses and different things came up. So, but we'll see where it goes. Um, and I, only, I really only know two chords, <laughs> but it's more than enough. Amen. It's more than enough. I've, I've fought that, but God's like, no, give me the, little, the two chords. So here's my two chords, Lord. <laughs> Doesn't feel like enough, feel like enough. It's tattered, broken, and all messed up. Doesn't feel like enough, feel like enough. It's tattered, broken. All messed up. Do you really want this from me, Lord? It doesn't feel like enough. Oh, it's broken. It's small, Lord. It's broken. Oh, they have more chords than I do. They have more than I do. Lord, when I look around, there's more talent around, Lord, it's not enough. But you say, give it to me, that little faith, that little hope, that little joy. Give it to me, I'll multiply it. I'll multiply, I'll multiply it. Give it to me, that little money, that little skill, that little faith. Give it to me, I'll multiply it, I'll multiply it. Oh, give it to me, that little faith, that little hope, that little joy. Give it. To me, I'll multiply it, I'll multiply it. Give it to me, that little money, that little skill, little hook, talent. Give it to me, I'll multiply it, I'll multiply it. Here's my loaves and here's my fish. I trust you, Lord, to multiply it. Here's my loaves and here's my fish. I trust you, Lord, to multiply it. Here's my loaves and here's my fish. I trust you, Lord, to multiply it. Why don't we sing that? Here's my loaves and here's my fish. I trust you, Lord, to multiply it. Here's my loaves and here's my fish. I trust you, Lord, to multiply it. Here's my loaves and here's my fish. I trust you, Lord, to multiply it. Here's my loaves and here's my fish. I trust you, Lord, to multiply it. Here's my loaves and here's my Fish, I trust you, Lord, to multiply it. Oh, multiply, multiply it. Oh, it might seem small, but here it is, here it is, Lord. Here it is, here it is, Lord. Here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. Acaso no fue sobre una bendición? All right, Kathy, what do you need? <laughs> You're looking for a basket. Here. Well, I'd say good morning, but good afternoon. Y les diría you, buenos días, pero lunch? buenas tardes. ¿Trajeron su almuerzo? <laughs> Ooh, how about that? All right, as we have heard, heard and been hearing quite a bit this morning, uh, God can create more out of what we have. 
Y como hemos escuchado y visto esta mañana, Dios puede crear más de lo poquito que tenemos. So as Andy was suggesting, what are some things that you have that may not seem like a lot to you, as if you give it to God, he can do something more with it. Así es de que como uh, Andy había sugerido, ha mencionado, ¿cuáles son algunas de las cosas que ustedes tienen que parecen poco, pero si las entregan a Dios pueden ser multiplicadas? I'm just, I have such a delicate voice, that must be it. Why are you laughing over there? Um, maybe it is your money. Quizá es tu dinero. Maybe it's a talent. Quizá es un talento. Uh, maybe it's a hug. Quizá es un abrazo. Uh, I think of somebody like Laura. I'm going to pick on Laura for a second. Yo pienso en alguien como Laura y la voy a usar de ejemplo ahorita. Laura uh, arranges flowers and la does a beautiful job. Laura hace un excelente trabajo trabajando con flores. But Laura doesn't think she does that great a job. Pero ella no piensa que ella hace tan excelente trabajo. But you know, she gives it to God, and what do we all think? Pero saben que ella se lo entrega a Dios, ¿y qué pensamos nosotros? Okay. He, he just multiplies, he multiplies that talent that she has. Él multiplica ese excelente talento que ella ya tiene. And then I think of Stan. Y luego oh, pienso en oh, Stan. You may not have noticed, but Stan is quite creative, and especially in woodworking. Quizá ustedes no se han dado cuenta, pero él es muy creativo, en especial trabajando con madera. And cardboard, yes. <laughs> y con, uh, cardboard. sí, con las cajas también. And Stan may not think, you know, I know he's, he sometimes he tells me, oh, I, this part just wasn't right, and I didn't get this part, and I had to do it again. And y yo sé que a veces Stan dice, oh, esto no está bien, no me salió esto en esta parte, etc. But I know that Stan does his work for the Lord, and there's a perfect example that not the communion table, but the cabinet right next to it, he built that for Jim and for all of us to hold all those new hymn books we're going to be singing from. Y uh, yo sé que Stan hace este trabajo para Dios y pueden darse cuenta en ese gabinete que nos hizo para esos nuevos signarios. So you will find on your table, if the kids haven't colored them all anyway, um, some loaves and some fish. Así es de que en su mesa, si no los han agarrado los niños, van a encontrar unos panes y unos peces. So I would like you first to take a loaf And there should be some pencils in the box, or if you're desperate enough, you can write in crayon. Y primero, uh, les pido que tomen una, un pan, y hay um, lápices en su mesa, o si no hay crayolas en su mesa. I want you to think of something that you have, that if you gave it to the Lord, he could enlarge. What could he do with something you have? I want you to write it on that fish. I mean, on the loaf, and then in a couple of minutes, I'm going to have you bring it up to the front to put in our basket. But go ahead and do that. Y quiero que en ese pan ustedes escriban algo que ustedes tengan que si se lo entregan al Señor lo puede multiplicar. Y en un momento que los llenen, los van a traer al frente, pero por mientras llenenlo. So I'm going to give you just a couple of minutes because we are running a little late today. Y to write something on your loaf of bread that you have in mind that God could enlarge or make more of it if you give it to him. Algo que Dios puede usar, utilizar, multiplicar, que si ustedes se lo entregan, él lo puede um, usar. Oh, also Stan makes delicious food. Y comparte una de las niñas que Stan también hace muy buenas galletas. Come to the potluck next week and you can taste it yourself. Muy buena comida, perdón. Um, y pueden comprobarlo la próxima semana. While you're still writing, I'm going to confuse you and explain the next thing just to save a minute or two here. Y mientras ustedes escriben, les voy a explicar el siguiente paso. On your fish, en sus pescados, I'd like you to write a short testimony of some way that God 
has blessed you unexpectedly. Quiero que escriban un testimonio corto de cómo Dios los ha bendecido inesperadamente. Now this is where I was telling Cassandra last night that she needed to share, but I'm glad she shared it earlier because she would never get her story on that little fish. <laughs> y aquí en esta parte es donde yo pensaba que Cassandra pudiera compartir su historia, pero estoy feliz de que lo compartió antes porque no creo que cupiera en ese pescadito. I know one way God has blessed us unexpectedly, sort of unexpectedly, in this last bit of time. Uh, we have been able to sell some property that we had and make some profit on it. And right after we found out about that, our brakes went out on the car, and then we found out that we need a new roof. And without that blessing that came ahead of time, that would have been quite difficult for us so I praise God for that y yo sé de una bendición que Dios uh, hizo para nosotros uh, pudimos en este tiempo tan loco vender una propiedad y justo después de eso nos dimos cuenta que necesitamos nuevos uh, frenos y aparte necesitamos un nuevo techo entonces uh, Dios estaba planeando ahí para eso I'm going to read some of these loaves for you. Y ahorita voy a leer tantitos de estos panes. This one says friendship and food. A esta dice amistad y comida. Bring freedom to others. Traer uh, um, libertad a otros. Food. Comida. There seems to be a theme here. <laughs> We are Baptists. <laughs> Parece haber un tema aquí. <laughs> ah, a 41 de Soto. Uh, eso. Not sure where that one. I know who it's coming from. Y yo sé de dónde viene uh, esto. Love. Amor. All of it, says Elizabeth. Todo, dice Elizabeth. My paintings. Ah, uh, mis pinturas. I'm afraid I need a magnifying glass for this one. Singing, I think it says singing. Y en esta dice uh, el canto. Creativity. Creatividad. Singing. Cantar. Time. Tiempo. God can bless our time. Ballet. 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 Mm -hmm. Prayer. La oración. All of these things God can bless and make more out of if we will give it to Him. Y todos estos Dios puede bendecir y hacer más de estos si se los entregamos. Leadership skills. Two chords. Wonder who this one came from. A <laughs> uh, nuestros um, liderazgo dos uh, cuerdas. Me pregunto de quién viene esta. And my love for kids. Y mi amor para Amen. los niños. And then our fish. Elizabeth says, he gave my mom money. And I y, bet that must be just at a time you needed it, right? Y nuestros pescados. Dice Elizabeth que um, uh, Dios le dio dinero a su mamá. Y me eh, imagino que esto fue en un tiempo apropiado. So one says mom. Alguien dice mom, mamá. Singing makes me feel happy. El cantar me hace I sentirme feliz. That, but I didn't. When I lead a children's choir, someone donated my so someone donated my material so I could make choir ropes for the kids. Y alguien uh, donó material para poder hacer estas um, uh, ropa para los niños. The right wife. La esposa correcta. Ah, uh, hombre, hombre sabio. I always have enough money at the end of the month, even when I don't have enough. Siempre tengo dinero suficiente al fin del mes, incluso cuando no tengo suficiente. 
They're still alive. <laughs> Singing, family, church family. Cantar a uh, familia, la familia de la iglesia. Bringing people into our home always blesses them such as with peace. Bringing people into our home always blesses them such as with peace. Ah, trayendo gente a nuestra casa los bendice de una manera como con la paz. Fixed a chair for free but was given a hundred dollars. Arreglé una silla por gratis y me dieron cien dólares. So I will give it forward to the building project. Así es de que lo voy a donar para el proyecto de la vivienda. Pray? What? Oh, Dad. D A D, papá. Friendship, kindness, singing, creative. Amistad, um, bondad, creatividad. I'll read it in Spanish. You translate it for me here. <laughs> lo voy a leer en español y tú lo traduces. Spanish. En los meses pasados trabajando pocas horas y Dios proveyó para nuestras necesidades. In the previous months, working limited hours, uh, God was always providing for our needs. Yay. Amen. God gave me strength. Dios me dio fuerza. Like Samson. Como Sansón. Next time we have to put pens in the boxes. La próxima vez ocupamos hacer esto con plumas. God blesses me with opportunities to share God with young people. Dios me bendice con la oportunidad de compartir a Dios con gente joven. Food and life. Comida y vida. I was sure I was going to be an only child for 12 years, but boom, I got the perfect brother. Y yo pensé que iba a ser una hija única por 12 años y boom, uh, un mi hermano perfecto. And last but not least, I have not had to need braces for two months. Y por última vez, uh, no he necesitado usar los brackets por dos meses. So this is a sentence that Anne shared the other, other day with the staff. Little is much when God is in it. I y esto we es all algo, need that on our refrigerator. Y esto Little es, is man, much when God is in it. Y esto es algo que Anne compartió con nosotros previamente, que lo poquito es mucho cuando se involucra a Dios. Y creo que todos necesitamos ponerlo esto en el refri. All right. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, everybody. Gracias, Kathy. Gracias a todos. Good job. So let's say that together. I'll say it in English, and if you want to say it in English with me, say it after I say it, and then just you'll say this, the expression in Spanish, and the Spanish can follow. So, little is much when God is in it. Okay, little is much when God is in it. Y poquito es mucho cuando Dios se involucra. Poquito es mucho cuando Dios se involucra. All right. Awesome. Great lessons for us today. Excelentes lecciones para nosotros hoy. So thank you for everybody for participating. Y gracias a todos por participar. I want to remind you that as part of your program for today. Y quiero recordarles que parte de su programa hoy. There are five questions that you can take home with you. Hay cinco preguntas que pueden llevarse a casa. And these are designed for you to take and have dinner time conversations with. Y estas están diseñadas para que ustedes puedan llevárselas a casa y um, hablar sobre ellas alrededor de la cena. So, for those of you who have kids at home, y especialmente para ustedes que tienen niños en casa. Esta es una gran oportunidad para seguir explicando y enseñando esta lección. By, by talking through, uh, those discussion points, a la a hablar sobre todos estos puntos. And just See what God does with them. Y ver lo que hace Dios con ellos. All right, so um, it's been a great lesson. God is good. He has way more for us than, than we can possibly imagine. Ha sido una gran lección. Dios tiene mucho más de lo que pudiéramos imaginarnos. We're going to stand and sing a closing song to finish off. Vamos a pararnos y um, ca cantar una canción para concluir. Okay. 
some of you, somebody's asking where the questions are. They are. So everybody should have had a program like this. Y todos uh, recibieron un programa 